In the past 30 days, this channel has generated anywhere from over $600 to over $10,000 and they did that with a faceless YouTube channel. On their channel, they just explained philosophy, which is why in this video, I'm going to create an entire faceless YouTube channel only using free AI softwares because we all know AI can be a tad bit pricey and I'm going to use AI to automate this entire process from generating the idea to the script to the voiceovers to every single aspect of it. So trust me, you want to watch this full video. Now, when it comes to getting an idea for the channel, you don't have to do philosophies. All you need to do is come on over to ChatGPT. You're going to ask ChatGPT to give you 50 YouTube channel niches, okay? And just like that, it's a begin to give you a list of niches that you can get into to start your channel. But for our channel, we already know we're going to be creating a philosophy channel. Now, once you have the channel idea, you actually have to create the YouTube channel. Now, ignore the first subscribers you see over here. This is all my fake accounts. But what you need to do now is give your channel a name, add in the banner, add in the logo, and an about section, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to head back over to ChatGPT and then I'm gonna ask it this prompt. Write me 10 channel names for a YouTube channel that explains philosophy and then here it goes giving me some 10 names examples so looking at these names the philosophical owl i think i like this one the philosophical owl it's, so i'm gonna head back over to my channel okay click where it says customize channel so i'm gonna make sure that i'm in the customizations tab okay then i'm gonna click where it says basic info and then this is where i'm gonna add in a name from chat gpt and then i'm also gonna add it in for my channel's name the next thing i need is my channel description okay but i'm gonna head back to chat gpt and then i'm gonna write this prompt to write me a youtube channel description for a channel called the philosophical owl that explains philosophy in a story format so I can just go ahead and I'm just gonna copy this description and then I'm just gonna paste it in my description section and now I'm gonna click where it says branding I need my profile photo and I need my banner now in order to create that I'm gonna head over to Canva you can also find a link for Canva in the description of this video but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for the word YouTube banner okay as you can see Canva offers over 2,000 ideas that you can use from but I'm just gonna click where it says create a blank YouTube banner and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to where it says elements I'm gonna see if I could find something related to philosophy and then i'm just gonna go where it says to photos and you see this one right here i actually quite like this and then i'm just gonna go ahead and edit this to make a good banner so then in order to download this banner i'm gonna go where it says share and then i'm gonna click download it's already selected as a png so all i'm going to do is hit where it says download okay so i'm going to head back over to canvas page once again but then this time what i'm going to search for is as you can see down here youtube channel logo again i'm gonna go in with a blank logo and now this is where the interest in ai part comes in so i'm gonna go over to where canvas says apps over here and then now what's an app as you can see it's the number one but if you don't see it all you need to do is search over here for text to image and then i'm gonna ask canva to generate us a philosophical owl and then i'm just gonna add with glasses so maybe it comes up with one with maybe like some nerdy glasses on and i'm gonna put it in a style of dreamlike because i feel like that normally gives some pretty cool results but i'm gonna click create your image now let's see what canva's ai comes up with as you can see canva has given us one two three four pretty cool options for some reason i really like this one with the book okay i just wish it added glasses onto this but there's no worries because i can actually add the glasses on myself so i'm gonna go over to elements right here okay and then i'm just gonna search for glasses now we have our little philosophical owl okay that's perfect for our channel image actually so now we can go ahead and download our image so let's click where it says share okay and then we're gonna click download just click over there and just click png okay and then click download and that's all you need to do we're gonna head back over to our youtube channel here as you can see okay click where it says upload and i'm going to locate the logo that we just created on canva okay now you can see it's added in our logo so i'm gonna do the same thing for our banner okay so now that i've added them both in i can go ahead and hit publish and once i've done that i'm gonna click view channel just to see what the channel is looking like so far okay i have to admit guys <laughs> this actually looks pretty good with the little fancy owl and our little fancy banner and our fancy name so now we need to generate our first video but before we can do that we need to get the idea to do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to ask ChatGPT this prompt and the prompt reads give me five philosophy lessons and who said them okay and as we could see chat GPT has given me five philosophy lessons and who said them. Now I have kind of an idea of what I can make a video about, okay? The exam's life is not worth living. This is actually pretty, I have no idea what it means, but I need a script for my video, okay? And I don't need to know because AI knows, okay? So this is where I'm going to ask chat GPT this from. Write a 300 word script of a short story explaining number two, okay? And I'm gonna say make it easy to understand yet entertaining. So now chat GPT has begun to create a story for us. That story is also the script for our video. 
video okay now we have the idea for the video and now we have the script for the video the next thing you need to do is generate the voiceover for the script and how you would do this is you come over to google and then you do a search for 11 labs and once you've done that you're gonna click this one over here okay and then it's gonna take you to this page where you can give it a try where you can test it out okay but now in order to create the actual voiceover you need to head over to where it says speech synthesis and now once i'm in this location what i did was i selected the voice adam okay and then here as you can see all i did was i copied the script from chat gpt and then i pasted it in here okay and now once i've done that all i need to click is generate and then once 11 labs is done with your audio you can go ahead and listen to it at the bottom here and then if you like what it sounds like all you need to do is hit download over here and then that's how you can go about downloading your audio okay it's time to create the actual video and trust me this is where it gets pretty interesting now in order to create the video you need to head back over to canva again you could find a link for canva in the description of this video but what you're gonna do you're gonna search for youtube video okay and once you've done that it's gonna show you all these different templates you're not gonna use them you're gonna click where it says create blank youtube video so the first thing i need is a background for that video and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the same image as you could see it's in my recently used put it on our image and then i'm going to align it and then i'm going to click where it says edit image and then click over here where it says see all and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to decrease the brightness to make it look a bit better i'm going to increase the saturation of this and i'm also going to increase the blur okay so once i've done that i have the background of my video ready but now i need to generate the character who's gonna speak in my video now who better to explain this philosophy than the person who said it themselves what i did was i did a quick search into google as you can see to see who socrates is now i have just a general idea of what he looks like so i could begin generating him so in order to generate the character okay i'm going to use again canvas text to image ai i'm gonna type in his name socrates and then i'm just gonna add the philosopher after it just so that canva ai knows who i'm talking about okay i'm gonna put it in a style of filmic um with the results i don't know how i feel for now i guess this is our best bet so let's try putting it in the style of dreamlike just to see maybe if it creates better looking ones yes 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 so compare these two together let's just take him out of here so for now as you can see the backgrounds are different so what i need to do is actually remove the background from this image so in order to do this what i need to do is go right back to where it says uploads okay so i'm gonna click on this and then i'm gonna click where it says download now in order to remove the background you need to head over to google and search remove background okay and you're gonna click this one here this is the one i always use and now once on that side you can upload the file that we just downloaded from canva of our character and then as you can see it's gonna begin to remove the background and it tried its best okay it had a little trouble removing it from the hair but don't worry all i'm gonna do is click where it says edit and then i'm gonna click where it says erase and restore and i'm gonna make sure i have erase selected and then i'm literally just going to erase all this extra stuff it does not need to be perfect which is why i like this app and let's see so now that i've removed the background i can go ahead and re-download this image and now i'm just gonna head back over to canva okay and then i'm going to click where it says upload and then i'm going to upload the image we downloaded without the background so i'm just gonna go ahead and stretch it out so you know give it a good position on our screen okay but i feel like i may need to flip him and then i'm gonna go ahead and add his name into this now that i have his name i'm just going to highlight all of it i'm going to make sure it's in the uppercase and i'm also going to change the font and then i'm just going to put a hyphen in front of it now what i'm going to do is just adjust it a bit so it's not too big and bold because it's not the main point of this but i'm going to go ahead and download it not as an mp4 but i'm going to download it as a png so now that i have this downloaded as a png i know what you're thinking where's the voice over where's the text where's anything it's bland monique what are you doing i know exactly what i'm doing and i need you guys to follow me because now that the porn part is done it's onto the actual fun parts we're gonna make him talk so what you need to do is come over to google now once on google you need to do a search for did so then you're just gonna click this one okay once on this page you can click where it says try it now or you can log in if you already have an account and now it's gonna take you to this page okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna click where it says create video and then from here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna click where it says add and then i'm going to add in that image that we just saved from canva okay so now that i have the image in i need to insert my audio as you can see over here you can just insert a script from within the id but just be mindful that you have a character limit so in order to just get away with that i'm just gonna click where it says audio and this is where i'm going to select the audio that we generated using 11 lab so now that i have the image and now i have the audio what i then need to do is click where it says generate video okay and now that the video is downloaded i know what you're thinking but wait what what did you even do like what does this even do well let me click on the video and show you what it did
he's talking he's actually saying the speech that we created in 11 labs i know it's pretty awesome it's pretty cool and i know you want to see the rest but you have to wait till the end because we're not done yet so the last thing we want to do is actually write the text that's going to be read which is our script we're not gonna sit here and do this in canva and do it manually no we're actually going to have ai generated for us okay and in order to do this what you need to do is head over to google and what i want you to search is vid subtitle generator okay and once you've done that you're gonna go ahead and click this one over here okay now once on this page what i'm going to do is i'm gonna click where it says create project okay and then it's going to open this up you see where it says upload a file this is where you're going to upload the file that we just downloaded from did and now that i have that done it's taken me into this workspace okay so i'm gonna click over here where it says subtitles okay and then what i'm gonna click is auto subtitles and then my video is in english so what i just need to do is click create subtitles and now once it's generated the subtitles what i'm gonna do is click on this first one and then i'm gonna put the playhead on top of it as you can see it's in the middle here i don't want it there so i need to adjust it to a better position and then what i want to do next is click where it says styles as you can see i've selected reveal and it's in the text style of anton i also have a shadow in the black you see where it says effect and then over here under the text section you see it shows uppercase i'm just going to click on that so this way all our letters are in the uppercase so now we can go back to the beginning and then we can hit play to just see what it looks like now so now we can go ahead and actually download our video okay so i'm gonna go ahead and select where it says done over there and then i'm gonna click export video and now that it's done i'm just gonna click where it says download okay and then i'm gonna go ahead and download it as an mp4 so now we have our final video and i know you guys want to see it but just hang inside because now it's time to upload the video now in order to upload the video i just need to head back over to my youtube channel okay so i'm gonna hit create and then i'm gonna click upload video and this is where i can take the video we just downloaded from vid and upload it to youtube in this section okay and now once i've uploaded it as you can see youtube is processing the video but i need to go ahead and add in the four other important factors which are the title the description the thumbnail and of course the tags so in order to do this again we're gonna head back over to chat gpc and then we're gonna ask it for some prompt write a 60 character title for click with the youtube video about and then this is essentially what our video is about okay because it's about this quote okay and just like that it gave me a pretty good title and then i'm gonna come back to the youtube channel paste in our title okay now that i have the title i need some tags for the video so i'm gonna go ahead and ask ChatGPT this prompt okay it reads give me a total of 500 character keywords to get views on a youtube video with the title and again we have the title for our video okay and now what i can do is copy all of these okay and head back over to my youtube account i'm just gonna paste in the tags that ChatGPT did and once i have that done the next important aspect again is the description and in order to get the description i'm gonna head back over to ChatGPT and ask it this prompt gives me a short description for a youtube video title and then i'm gonna add in a title of our video once again give us a short description so what i'm going to do is again copy this come back over to the youtube account and then i'm just going to paste in the description now we're almost done the last thing we need to do is create the thumbnail for the video and in order to create thumbnails you need to use canva okay that's pretty much it just like that my thumbnail for my video is done okay and now once that done you have your video ready to go hit publish look at this channel okay guys it looks so good now i can show you what the video looks like and let me just say it is pretty cool once upon a time, there was a man named Mark, who lived in a small village. Mark was a hard-working farmer, but he was always so busy that he never took the time to reflect on his life. So yeah, that's essentially what the video looks like. And I know what you're thinking, it has the watermarks. That's unfortunate, that's what happens when you use the free versions, but hey, if you have the money to invest in the paid versions to create your channel, you can go ahead and do that. But a little watermark never bothered nobody. Right? And you have to admit that this is pretty cool. The fact that I created an entire faceless YouTube channel using only AI and not just AI, free AI. And the best part is you can go ahead and do this exact same thing for yourself. And the more you post content, eventually if you're posting things that people are interested in, you can get your channel monetized and you may end up making anywhere from $600 to $10,000. Just like many other channels are doing, just like many other people are doing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. But if you want to learn more ways you can make money online, be sure to check out this other video on my channel.